Brush small areas of patterned paper onto your background to anchor your focal points using a brush and an inverted mask. But first, what is an anchor? And why do I need one on my scrapbook page or card? An anchor draws your eye to the focal points on your project and ties all the elements on your page together. Anchors ground your page so photos and embellishments don't appear to be floating on your background. In this first example, a paper strip placed behind the photo grounds the photo and snowflakes. In the second example, paper mats and a stroke outline were used as anchors. And in the third example, paint placed behind the left side of the photo provides an anchor. There are many elements you can use as an anchor, but for this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use a patterned paper as an anchor. I'm beginning here in expert mode in Photoshop Elements but the directions are exactly the same in Adobe Photoshop except where noted. Begin by opening the layer document that comes in the download. Included in the layer document are two papers from the Adventure Kit by the talented Dawn by Design. First, get the Move tool. Then, in the Layers panel, click on the Pattern Paper Adventure Dawn by Design layer to make it the active layer. Click on the visibility icon of the Pattern Paper Adventure Dawn by Design layer to reveal it. Now we are ready to create the inverted mask. In the Layers panel, the Pattern Paper should be the active layer. While holding down the Alt key, that's the Option key on a Mac, click on the Add Layer Mask icon. The foreground color chip should now be white. If it's not white, press the letter X. Now, let's get the Brush tool. In the Tool Options, open the Brush Picker, open the drop-down menu, and choose Wet Media Brushes. Choose the Rough Round Bristle Brush. If you don't see the names of the brushes, open the Flyout menu and choose Large List. Set the size of the brush to 200 pixels, the opacity to 100%, and the mode should be normal. Open the Brush Settings, Set the fade to 0, the hue jitter to 0%, the scatter to 20%, the spacing to 5%, and the roundness to 100%. Photoshop users in the tool options open the brush picker, open the legacy brushes, and choose the wet media brushes. Select rough round bristle brush from the drop down menu. Please refer to the manual for the brush settings. In the Layers panel, the layer mask should be active. The mask will have a blue or white outline around it. On the document, click or click and drag where you want the anchor to appear on your page. Like that. If you reveal too much of the pattern paper, press the letter X to switch the foreground color to black, and then on the document, click and drag to hide the parts of the paper. Experiment with different brushes and brush sizes to achieve different looks. This is a handy technique to use when you want to show only small areas of the pattern paper. Now, let's save the file. To preserve the layers for later use, save the document as a PSD file with a unique name. I recommend saving as a PSD file so you can make adjustments to the mask as you create your project. Finally, finish your page as desired. Here's how I finished my layout. The patterned paper mask has a unique edge and grounds the photo, title, and embellishments. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Carla Shute from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.